in the midst of the most unprecedented time in modern history, a hero rises to change his costume? What award show is Spider-Man hosting that he feels the need to change his outfit so frequently instead of providing any kind of meaningful assistance to the authorities? I don't know what his game is, but he seems to be more preoccupied with his wardrobe than the impending doom this city faces. As these creatures terrorize the streets, take comfort in knowing that the Spider-Man have sleek new outfits to wear to make sure they look their best for the end of the world. Has it ever been clearer? They do not care about us. Selfish, egotistical sociopaths. I'll tell you, in all my years, I would have not guessed that this is what I'd be reporting on as the world ended around us. But life is unpredictable. The only thing we can count on is the Spider-Man only doing what's best for them. Dr. Connors? Hello? He's here in my lab. Gotta call Miles and get over there quick. Miles, meet me at Connors' lab. I think Harry's there, and it doesn't sound good. On my way. Should be a shortcut to Connors' lab near Central Park. I've gotta find a way to get through to Harry. He's in there. I know I can reach him. Just hope he doesn't hurt Connors. City's in trouble. Norman, what are you doing? What are you gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Please, save my boy.
Spider-Man. I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these... things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now he can heal the world. This isn't what we meant. Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. This is something else. Harry, I'll find you, buddy. I'll find you. Somewhere. That suit's not an alien, is it? <laughs> it's time for a Miles Morales original, you know? One of one. <laughs> it looks good. What happened, man? Harry got the meteorite. I, uh... I couldn't stop him. Connor said we can't save him, so we have... I can't lose him, Miles. I can't do this again. I saw May when I was... in your head. It's not your fault, Pete. She wanted to save you. To save all of us. She never thought about herself. Even when she was struggling to breathe. If May... my dad... If they were here, they would want us to stop thinking about them. They'd want us to help people. To fight. Harry's still in there. And we're gonna fight like hell to get him back. Call the play, coach. Let's split up. Cover more ground. You find the meteorite, I'll clear that nest out. You got it, Spider-Man. Join us. 
hear. Please. No way that thing is talking to me. Come with us. into symbiotes you are safe here everyone you love is safe here my head i have to find a way out why would you leave we are here you can be too you peter us this isn't where i belong harry Neither do you! Come on, Miles! Come on! Let us heal you. Bring us, Peter. That's not the way, Harry! You know that! Pete and I! We're gonna save you from this! No! We are saving you! in trouble. Pete, I saw the meteorite. It's under the Harlem subway station, next to the bridge. Heading there now! Wait for me though, man. Harry, he's after you. I have to go help Haley, but just wait, all right? Whoa, whoa, back up! What happened? I got sucked into the high pine. Saw this vision of the meteorite underground, but I've got a bad feeling. You think Harry's there? I'm serious, Pete. Just give me 10 minutes. You cannot do this alone. Right. Call me when you're done. Sorry, Miles, but I can't waste any time. There's the subway entrance. Miles has to be right. That's where the meteorite is. Just have to clear out this bridge. Everyone stay in your cars. I won't let them hurt you. Harry! Venom! I know you're here! You found us. Yes! I'm here, buddy! No. I know! Just hang on! I'm coming! Everything all good with Haley? Not yet. But you still owe me a few more minutes. Hang tight! Haley! No! What 
What are you doing here? I was... I was trying to save you. You're incredible. I, I like you so much, and I think you like me. Do you want to go out? Hey, on a date? <laughs> Is that a yes? Well, it's a date, Ben. After all this is over. Pete! I'm on the way! Pete! It's Harry. Leave a message. Hey, buddy. I talked to Dr. Connors. He says you're too far gone, but I know that's not true. Harry, I messed up. I was terrible to you. Your dream, our dream, healing the world. I'm sorry. Seeing a rock. No. Hold on. I'm nearly to you. Thanks for coming, Pete. We want to show you something. Harry, what are you? We are healed. Finally free. <laughs> Thank you. 
stay here. MJ, we all need to meet up at May's house. What's going on out there, guys? It's the meteorite that the symbiote arrived in. He's using it to transform the city. I know where it is. And we're gonna steal it. Time to game plan. I'm in. See you guys at home. Listeners, I implore you. Stay inside your homes. Lock the doors. Board the windows. Trust no one. The city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet, spawning creatures from what feels like hell itself. They're capturing us, converting us, and will soon overtake us. Don't give them the chance. While the government sits on its hands, my loyal listeners have taken to the forums, looking for any signs of weakness these creatures show. We will defend ourselves. We know we can't count on the Spider-Men to save us. If this last week's events have proven anything beyond a shadow of a doubt, it's that the heroes make things worse, not better. In the meantime, stay safe. Remain vigilant. We will get through this. New York does not go down without a fight. And I will be there, right next to you, on the front lines. Godspeed, and may we all see tomorrow.